What's going on, guys? T oh, I need my lights on. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, wow. Good start. Good start. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I hope I look good now. So what's up, guys? Thomas Garrett's here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a ClickBank sales funnel. But really, this is just how to build an affiliate marketing sales funnel. I'm just personally using a ClickBank product in this example. And this is like a very simple yet so many people struggle with it idea, right? So I want to show you like the reasoning behind this because so many people just say, oh, email's dead, this, that, and the other. And it's just like, they don't understand how to make it work, right? And so many people feed into that because let's face it, people will believe anything on the, on the internet. And I'm not telling you that that's you, but I just want to show you like the reasoning behind why email is so powerful. And this is like the most basic sales funnel. So typically you'll have an opt-in form and then you'll have a bridge page, which we're not going to worry about in this. I'll explain that in a second, but basically you want to collect an email and then send them to the affiliate offer. Okay. Now, why do you want to do that rather than just send someone straight to the affiliate offer? Okay. So there's a few reasons. The main reason is a lot of places like Facebook and Google, all those places, they don't like you direct linking to an affiliate product. So you need a page in between and an opt-in page lets you collect an email. Okay. Now the bridge page where that would come in handy is that would come in between the affiliate offer or the opt-in page and the affiliate offer. Okay. Now on the bridge page, that's where you can differentiate yourself and pre-frame the customer, pre-frame the customer. <laughs> I'm, I'm off to a good start today. But so what you would do is you would be like, you would explain to them, you would kind of hit on their, their pain points and you explain to them what this product is. And that's where you can add in bonuses and you can sweeten the pot, right? So that's how you can differentiate yourself between you and all the other people promoting the same product as an affiliate. So that's great. It will be better if you do use one. In this example, we're not going to bother just because I don't want to waste a ton of your time. If you're interested in that, leave a comment down below and I can maybe make a follow-up video. But the real power comes on the back end. Okay. So after you collect an email, you can send them email after email after email directed at the affiliate offer. But most people think, oh, that's not a big deal. They might not end up buying. And that's true. They might not, but after six or seven touches, they're going to know you a lot better. And apparently we got two email fours, two email, email sixes, but uh, <laughs> that's funny. But so the, the true power becomes like towards the seventh, eighth and the hundredth email because you're going to keep emailing them. All right. You have to do that. That's the whole point of building a list. That's why you see people like Frank Kern and they send emails two, three, four times a day and they promote different offers. So that's where the power comes in. You can promote other offers right here. Okay. So it's not just like, oh, you're just going to promote this one offer. Now where people screw up is they'll have someone opt in on something, let's say making money online, and then they're going to go promote a fitness offer and send emails to the same list of people. And then that just doesn't work. You have to send them to related offers. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, but let's get into the step-by-step -step document I wrote out. So step one and step two, super simple. Step one, we're going to create a ClickBank account on clickbank.com. So you just click right here and uh, then we go to affiliate marketplace and we're going to pick a product. Okay, so right here, you can see all of their categories. So the three evergreen niches are what they call the ones that are going to make the most money and be around forever health, wealth, and relationships. And for this example, I guess we could just go with like self-help that would fit under the health category, right? Like mental health. Okay. So we'll just click that one. And on ClickBank, you can hit this little arrow to make it more like focused, more targeted, but I'm just going to go broad. So you can see right here, I say a gravity of 30 plus, like that's what you want. And then I say good affiliate resources are a plus like emails, etc. Now it's up to you. I would focus on the products that have a higher gravity because that means people are having more success selling that product. Feel free to test whatever, but typically you're going to have better chances with those products and they're going to have better affiliate resources, better sales pages, everything. So instead of sorting by popularity, which is fine too, but I'm just going to go by gravity 
and then look at this i mean 210 that means that thing is selling okay so to get your affiliate link you would hit promote but we're going to check out the affiliate page before we do anything okay because some of these products they will have pre-made opt-in pages pre-made funnels for you so you always want to check this stuff out and see kind of what they got here so typically you'll have to put in your email so we'll just do that now this is our affiliate tools and we can see what they got so they got new email swipes old email swipes and then facebook ad videos so that's good you keep that in mind right and then you can see what else they're saying typically they'll tell you like what you make per sale and stuff like that but yeah so anyways the main thing we're looking for right here for this strategy is emails it's just going to make it more simple and i have email swipes for you too if you want to ask about that feel free to comment down below and yeah now i'm just going to leave this page open because we need to come back here to get our affiliate link but the next step is we need to build the opt-in page okay so i use click funnels and you could use convert kit but I use ClickFunnels for page building and ConvertKit for email, okay? But ConvertKit can do both if you're on a tight budget. ClickFunnels has more versatility, vers versatility? <laughs> and, uh, and ConvertKit, it can do landing pages, but it's a little more basic, okay? So it's totally up to you. ClickFunnels, 97 a month. ConvertKit, $30 a month, okay? I got free trials to both in my description. But this example, I'm gonna be doing on ClickFunnels, okay? So if you're using ClickFunnels, you just hit Add New, and then we're just gonna go Start Cookbook, and you can go here, you can go to a squeeze, page, a squeeze Page Funnel, Squeeze Page Funnel, a Squeeze Page Funnel, and uh, or a Bridge Page Funnel. So both of them are the same thing, so we'll just go to a Bridge Funnel, either way. And for this example, like I said, we're not going to be using the actual bridge page. We're just going to go opt-in page to affiliate offer. Okay. So I'm going to go right to, we'll just go to this one. This is fine. And then you can see it's got the squeeze page or the opt-in page to collect an email. And then it's got the bridge page, which is just like a video and then a button to direct you to the affiliate offer. It's pretty basic. So I'm just going to hit get funnel. Okay. So I'm just gonna delete the bridge page right here. We're not gonna use that. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the page. So I'm just gonna check out the sales page because we wanna get ideas about like, what could we put on the headlines? You know what I mean? So I typically, if I'm doing something like this, I'm just gonna pretty much just like rewrite something like this. Okay, so what do they got? They got overnight millionaire mind hacks secretly used by the rich and famous so let's go to our page and we're going to edit if you've never been inside of a click funnels editor everything is just drag and drop literally just like that and then you just click and edit okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to go free training reveals okay make it a little bigger what was it so secret secret mine hacks secret millionaire mine hacks and then we could say something like or let's go secret millionaire mind hacks used or used by the rich and famous dot 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 that they don't want you to know about and then i always put quotations around it and then typically you want to maybe do something like that and you could, I don't really like them all cap. So you could leave it all caps or we could just rewrite it. So let's go that they don't want you to know about. And then you can go in here and you can go to edit. And then you can go to, where is it? Text transform capitalize. Okay, so rewrite this real quick. Okay, so I really don't like those colors to be honest with you. Like I'm just deleting this stuff. But I personally would rather have a white background and you want, you want this uh, copyright stuff and then you want like a privacy policy and all that. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna leave it like this. But you get the idea, right? How I used their title to make my own title. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to my convert kit because when someone opts into this email, what we wanna do is we wanna collect them onto a list, okay? And then we want to start sending them emails. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So I use ConvertKit. 
Okay, so I'm going to go to my forms. And that's like a list. And that's right here is where on connect your email account. So pick an email software, email responder, auto responder. I use ConvertKit. That's what I found is the best for deliverability and all that. And make a list and a form or a form and a sequence. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. And I'm just going to hit create new right here. Okay, so go to form doesn't matter because we're not actually putting it on our website. That's just where we're collecting them, if that makes sense. And then we'll call it uh, overnight millionaire system, I think it was called and then hit save. And then in ConvertKit, you can have it go like, for example, you can have it, you know how you get emails like you got to confirm your um, subscription or whatever. So I'm going to take that off. I'm just going to have it not do that. But if you wanted that on, you would leave send incentive email on. Okay. So now we're going to go to sequences. And then we're going to hit new sequence. Okay, so we'll call it millionaire system or what was it overnight system or something overnight overnight system and then this is the sequence. Okay, so now what I personally do for automations is now I create an automation every email autoresponder is a little different and there's a couple ways to do this but I found this is the easiest way. Okay. So what I'm going to do is at the start, when someone joins a form and then the form is going to be overnight millionaire system, we're going to add it. Okay. So now they join this form. So we want to automate them getting an email sequence, which is the overnight millionaire system sequence. So now everyone that enters their email on that page after we connect it is going to get these emails. Okay. We're going to edit this and call it the automation. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it on. Okay, now we're going to go back and we're going to go to sequences again. I don't know why I went back. I could have clicked it over there, but just make sure it's in here right here. And then again, so we could go right here and we could click to download their email swipes. Now we could just copy it and paste their emails. Me personally, I would edit them a little bit, but let's just copy this one and just put it in there for a sake of example. Okay, and this is test overnight millionaire. Okay, and then we got to change it from draft to active and then save all. Okay, and this isn't about showing you how to use your email. I'll link up above to a video I did showing you a little more in depth how to use ConvertKit. But if you don't have any idea how to do it, it's pretty basic. You just add a link and yeah, but we need to get our affiliate link. Okay. So the reason why it's nice to have a bridge page is because it's nice being able to send them to the bridge page rather than send to the affiliate offer. ConvertKit's good about affiliate links, but some autoresponders aren't. Like MailChimp, they do not allow affiliate marketing at all. Like my name was just related to affiliate marketing and I created an account to show on a video and they banned me. Like I couldn't even do anything. So they do not like affiliate marketing at all. So just keep that in mind, depending which autoresponder you're using. And that's part of the reason why I suggest ConvertKit. Okay. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. I'm going to save this real quick and refresh it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and integrations. Okay. So we're going to go to ConvertKit and then we're going to go to add to a form and then overnight millionaire system. Okay. So now it's connected. Now, you may think we're done, but we're not quite done. Okay, so what I would do right here is I would change this. I would do like get instant access, something like that. I don't know, it just looks a little better. And yeah, so I really don't like the color of this. Maybe we just gotta add a little more space or something, I don't know. And then change the color of this maybe. All right, whatever, it, it looks all right, this isn't, supposed to look super pretty. It took two seconds to make, but I would spend a little more time on it, but do not forget to do this. Okay. So we're going to go to settings and we have to go to general. Okay. So if you do not change this, people are just going to enter their email and then typically they go to their next page in the funnel, right? But we deleted that. So we don't have anything. So nothing would happen. 
So what we need to do is we need to go back to ClickBank and we got to hit promote right here. Okay. Now, if you're signed in, your account nickname should be here. So I'm just going to pick mine and hit generate hop link. Okay. So make this a tad bit bigger. There's a copy thing right here. We click that and we go back here and we paste it in there. Okay. So we're going to hit save. Now you want to test it. You think it'll work? I should have added that to, uh, after this to make it work, right? We're almost to the last step, so just stay tuned, okay? But you always wanna double check your work, okay? Always make sure that stuff works. And again, you'd probably want to use a domain. This is the ClickFunnels subdomain. It's tgarrets.clickfunnels. But if you open up a free account for ClickFunnels, you do get a one free domain if they're still doing that. At least they did when I first started it, so just use that one. But yeah, so we're gonna go to this page and go to this page. Now, put in an email that I have access to, and then we'll check if I actually get the email. Okay, so we're gonna hit get instant access, and that should send us to the product, and boom. So that's how you make a sales funnel for affiliate marketing products, or ClickBank in specific. Now, there is one more step, and I do wanna check and see if I actually got the emails. So let's check that real quick. Oh, so I logged in and I didn't have the email. I screwed up. So I said after one day. So what you want to do for your first email is you want to have it at zero days. So it sends immediately. Okay. So obviously it would send if I had that set to that, maybe it will now send it, but you can see I have the subscriber. So TGMG or MKTG. So it's right there. And yeah, so it would work if I didn't screw that up. Yeah, so it probably won't send it just because I didn't change that. But just make sure you change it to zero days so it sends right away. Okay, and then obviously you want to have more than one email. And I have a ton of email swipes. So if you want some, just let me know. You do have to sign up with me to get them. I can't just give them away because they're like some of my personal emails. And I just don't want everyone to have them. So I hope you understand. But there is one last step. And what it is, is you need to get traffic. You either have to create content for free traffic, which is what I personally suggest, doing something like YouTube or blogging, something like that, but truly just going all in on that. Like paid ads, they're great, but it's so hard to scale if you're brand new and you don't have a ton of money. Like, trust me, those people telling you to start with paid ads, sure, it might work for some, but the success rate of it is so low because it's just such a high learning curve, you know what I mean? So for me, I would focus on a traffic method that works for you. And I have a complete playlist, I'll link up above, and that's how to promote ClickBank products with free traffic, okay? I have a ton of different strategies in there. So check that out for sure. And if you wanna learn more in depth how to get ClickBank sales, I'll put my number one recommendation for that in the description below. But besides that, if you enjoyed this type of content, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, destroy the notification bell so you get notified every time I come out with a new video. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And besides that, I, uh, I really appreciate you watching, seriously. And that's all I got. See you on the next video.